Welcome back to Chris TV Triple Zero, and I have some stories I'm going to share with you guys today. Now, a few stories I'm going to share is going to be sad, and as always, I will always try to put in some good stories to lighten it up a little bit. But as always, I hope you guys are staying safe, being blessed, and doing a good deed. And if you're in the Midwest or the East Coast, can't forget about you guys. Be careful. Slow down. The road conditions are pretty bad. And yeah, we're getting snow. It looks like it's here early this year. This variant is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. There's a new concern when it comes to COVID-19. The World Health Organization saying the global risk of the new Omicron variant is very high on Monday. The variant was first detected in South Africa last week. Since then, cases have been detected in countries like the UK, Canada, Israel, and Hong Kong. Now, an increasing number of countries are tightening their borders. The United States closed its borders to several African countries last week. So far, no Omicron cases have been reported in the US. Experts say there's still little understanding about the variant and scientists are working hard to gather more info. Health officials are urging people to get vaccinated as soon as they can. It feels like we're in danger as students, but like we can't really control it. There was a tragedy at Temple University over the weekend when a student was shot and killed right outside of his college apartment. His mom says he just got home to Philly after going home for Thanksgiving break. According to police, it was the middle of the day when he was shot at least twice in the chest. He was pronounced dead within the hour. After looking at video evidence, investigators say it looks like an attempted carjacking or robbery. The 21-year-old was set to graduate in the spring. His death is one of 500 plus homicides in Philadelphia this year, making it Philly's deadliest year on record. So far, no arrests have been made. We'll of course keep you updated. Also on today's news, we're gonna talk about sports a little bit, and it's gonna be directed more towards boxing. And of all, and as of always, when you're talking about boxing, who's been the new headline of boxing? What's his name? Jake Paul, Jack Paul. Well, you know, yeah. like I said, at this time, it's just, you chilling, like, yeah. I'm just like, yeah, take a number, relax. I'm feeling super confident. Uh, I'm ready to get this W. You know, I, there's nothing he can do and nothing that we aren't prepared for. It's not funny, like. Everyone thinks it's going here. Like, I'm taking it to the next level. Like, I really box. A legitimate boxer like myself, he's not going to get recognized as a boxer because he's fighting MMA guys at the minute. So, totally. if he wants to go and be an MMA fighter, why not go and do that? To everybody out there, a million pounds for a fight of this magnitude is it's not even worth getting out of bed for. Get your figures up and then we can talk. Knowing that my opponent is, is a real deal striker, he's been boxing probably five times as long as I have. So there's literally no chance, you know, this is an easy fight for me, a really easy fight. Is that right? Yeah, it's just ridiculous. You know, I've been fighting boxing my whole life. If he beats me, I have to give him 500k. And yeah, when I beat him, he has to change his name to Tommy Fumbles. This is an easier fight than Tyrant. This is a young kid who's never had a real fight. And I'm going to knock him the f*** out.